Hey, hey, hey there, everyone. For the first time <laughs> this whole week since I've been doing this series, I'm actually on time. It is actually 9.30 a.m. Uh, because why not, right? Life. And so I, we scheduled this series last week, Thursday, we did the Beyond Webinar Masterclass. And it was amazing. People learned all about how to go beyond a webinar with their virtual events because virtual events are not just webinars. And you know, the industry is trying to figure out like a new cool word to think of that doesn't, that's not webinar, but there's, you know, it's hard coming up with a word, right? Like, what does it really mean, right? Is it immersive digital experience? That sounds too long. You know, webinar is really nice, condensed, short. And so I created this series called Beyond the Webinar because a lot of folks, when they hear the word webinar, they think of this flat experience. You come on, you have your camera, you have your uh, slides, and then everyone's in the audience. But with the various virtual platforms that are coming out, there is so much more ways to engage. You know, we talked about Remo, we talked about Hop In, Run the World, Teleport. And today, I'm going to be talking about StreamYard. So StreamYard is a platform that I've been actually streaming this whole series on. And I'm going to give you guys like a behind the scenes look. So it's like you're coming to the studio with me. You're going to hang out with me behind the scenes for today's um, live. If you're catching the replay, you know, thank you for watching. Thank you for participating in the series. So without further ado, let's kick off our presentation talking all about going beyond a webinar. So if this is the first time joining us, this is the Beyond a Webinar live series, a high quality learning experience so that you can go beyond a webinar with your virtual events. Um, there are so many different ways to engage your audiences these days, especially now that everyone is working remotely, working digital, and most in-person large size gatherings are still not allowed. And before we jump into the presentation, my name is Georgianne Getton McCoy. I am the CEO and founder of GSD Solutions, which is a boutique co consulting agency that we focus on digital strategy as well as like helping folks um, through their business development, especially in that early stage. Um, we offer various products and services and help folks build out their own products, um, services, and digital events. So all this is digital work. And I have over 13 years of event production experience and over three years of virtual event production experience. So I kind of know what I'm talking about when it comes to this like event, virtual event stuff. And I've been featured in multiple publications, um, podcasts, uh, outlets for the work that I've done in the space as a uh, event production specialist, virtual event production specialist, and serial entrepreneur, author. I'll be doing a lot. <laughs> and so, you know, this is all about GSD, getting stuff done for the censored channels. And this is just like a little snapshot to show you, you know, what pre-COVID was on the right side, you know, uh, when folks were able to meet up, what type of interactions we were doing, classes, workshops, you name it. And then on the left, since COVID has happened, you know, switching over to virtual events, keeping um, a lot of digital ways to engage people and go again beyond a webinar. So today's platform, we're going to be talking all about StreamYard. So StreamYard is a streaming service that allows you to plug in all of your other um, platforms. So, you know, right now I'm going live on Facebook, LinkedIn, and Periscope. So Periscope is pretty much just like Twitter live stream. And then after I do this, I could have it uploaded to YouTube and do all these different things. But StreamYard, again, allows you to go live on multiple platforms at once. And so I'm going to show you guys a little behind the scene. Let's get that off. If you have any questions during the presentation, feel free to ask them. I am here to answer all of your StreamYard and your virtual event production questions. Let's get that up there. All righty. So when you go to StreamYard.com, this is kind of what you'll see. And they have this like a uh, little video tutorial. Let me actually refresh because I like the front part of that tutorial so that you guys can see it. So here we are. This is like a inside look at the studio, which I'm about to go inside the studio and show you guys. But you could flip through different screens. You can have different things scrolling. Um, you can have banners. Um, it's super easy to sign up. You don't even need like a whole password login process. Um, it connects to like your email address and then it sends you like a code. So you could be signed up in like a matter of minutes. Um, you know, they tell you about a lot of different folks that have used this as their streaming service. And it's just really easy to get onto, right? You could I'm having a live session now. It's super easy to invite somebody to the session. They don't have to download anything. It lives right in the cloud. Um, 
you know, Facebook Live, YouTube Live, LinkedIn, um, and you could also connect with your audience. So this is like a cool feature. That way, when somebody comments on the session, you could feature that comment. So if somebody wants to comment uh, that's watching, I will feature your comment so that way you can see that feature. Um, and you could also include call to action. So you guys are probably seeing my name right underneath me right here. Um, I could have that scrolling banner, which I'm going to turn back on in a minute. And, you know, I have my logo, which you should see in the corner, the GSD logo. Oh, I was about to say live with Georgie. No. Um, and you go, you know, super brand the broadcast. Again, no download, use it anywhere, save a lot of time. And it's just a really easy process. Um, where is their pricing? Let's go to pricing. And it's not super expensive. So they have a, a freemium model. Uh, is it down here? Pricing. Here we go. So here we go. So their pricing is very flexible. So you can either do like a monthly or annual pricing. But again, you can start off with free. So you can have screen sharing, banners, all the cool features in the free um, plan, as well as there's like a $20 a month if you do annual and a $39 a month. But if you do monthly, then it's $25 and uh, $49. So you can have like overlays, backgrounds, custom RTMP. So this feature I talked about in a couple of the platforms that you know we did earlier in the week on Beyond the Webinar. So RTMP servers is essentially just allows you to have more customization. So you could stream in to a platform like Hop In. Um, you know, you could also do this on Remo. You could do this on very various ways that you could stream in the content from somewhere else. And usually, you know, people would use this if they're doing like a bigger production. There's a lot of moving pieces. They want to have like a really immersive, beautiful experience um, by connecting one streaming service to like the actual event uh, production platform. So, you know, and then no stream yard banding, unlimited streams, 10 people on stage at once, um, or up to four hours of recording. So this is pretty fair pricing. Um, I kind of like their pricing model a lot. And it's being a person that has like used different um, streaming services before. So I've used Restream, I use OBS, and these are other streaming services similar to uh, StreamYard. And it depends on how complex my event is. So if it's like a really, com you know, if it's like a really, customized event that I want to have, I'll probably use OBS. It takes a lot more <laughs> learning because it is an open source um, uh, software. And you know you have to download it to your computer um, and it's like a lot more interaction. But it's like Restream, kind of the same thing. Their pricing model is a little fluctuated and um, it's just not as quick. Like you, 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 in order to get the best out of the platform, you have to connect a little bit more stuff. Um, but StreamYard, you could get on and live in like 30 seconds. So this is what I use th this for. So let me share a different screen to show you guys my behind the scenes of my StreamYard. So again, if you guys have any comments, shoot that in the chat. So that way I could feature a comment so you could be on stage and, you know, be all cool. Um... Let me stop sharing that screen and share this screen. Okay, gonna have a little inception for a second there. You know, the looping world of infinite screens, but this gives you like a view of what I'm looking at. So you see my logo up there. Um, I could choose like these different banners. Um, so I could have this showing, scrolling at the bottom. You know, and I had my like Art of GSD book that I did a session for. Um, you know, I could switch up brand logos to like Caribbeans in Tech, my other organization, if I wanted to have an overlay. Oh, where did I go? Okay. Um, you know, a bunch of different banners. Um, I could even include like a video. So I'm gonna just just do this for the fun of it. All right, I didn't go anywhere, I'm still here. Um, and just, you know, showing you different ways. And so you can add like a video clip of up to five um, minutes there. You could have like cool backgrounds. These ones don't fit for this scene, so it's not gonna work properly, but here we go. Just like a background on there and a bunch of customizational features. Oh, somebody made a comment. Hey, look, here we go. Look at that comment going. So it's just really cool and easy to use. Um, and here's where you'd be able to connect your multiple don destinations. So you could add um, Facebook pages, Facebook groups, uh, Facebook profiles, Twitch, custom RTMP, LinkedIn profile, LinkedIn event, LinkedIn page, YouTube channel, Periscope um, channel, and then stream from there. And then on the platforms that you're streaming at, share it from there. So I hope this little behind the scenes of StreamYard, let me get back to my presentation, let me remove that, is helpful. Um, uh, if I'm echoing and you're listening on LinkedIn, there has been um, 
an error with the LinkedIn platform, just refresh. Uh, when I'm streaming live on LinkedIn, for some reason it e echoes. If you uh, watch the replay or just refresh, it'll stop echoing. So I hope LinkedIn Live fixes that soon. I don't know. But um, I did check the replay yesterday because I got the same note from LinkedIn. And it when I checked it um, and went back and listened, it was not echoing through the, through the live. So LinkedIn, come through, fix your platform. I want to stream. <laughs> Oh gosh, here we go. Uh, let me get to the final part of this presentation for you guys. Mm -mm -mm. There we are. Oh, I still have the flowers in the back. Let me remove those. I'll leave them. Look at the flowers, guys. <laughs> awesome. So we just went over the StreamYard platform. It is, again, super easy to use. And if you're watching the replay, there will be a link in the comments for you to check out StreamYard. Um, it is an affiliate link. And if you want to learn more about affiliate programs, head on over to my affiliate video, which is also in the comments, uh, in the description below. My bad. YouTube description. I'm still getting into all this stuff. Comments, descriptions, bios, all the things. And now we are all about lifting off. Wait, I changed my, okay, there we go and going beyond a webinar. So how do we truly go beyond the webinar? If you need additional support with going beyond the webinar, you're planning a virtual event that you wanna um, have, you know, you can book GSD Solutions for hourly consulting, live event support, as well as full service, virtual event production. We do it all. We use a variety of platforms and I went over a variety of the platforms that we use just this week alone. Um, but if you go to our website, gsdsolutions.xyz, um, you'll see more about the work that we do. You see testimonials from amazing uh, folks that have worked with us before and, you know, gcsolutions.xyz slash consultation or just get a quote or get a consultation. You could book some time with us, you know, a free 20 minute consultation to talk about what exactly you need for your virtual event and how we can support you in your virtual event. Um, and, you know, again, we've been doing this for a really long time. I have a great team that, you know, understands exactly what goes into a virtual event, what you need to do to uh, grow your virtual event, how to make sure that everyone's, you know, participating, tech check, uh, so we can offer as little or as much support that as you need for your virtual events. And we have a bunch of client events coming up this month and next month. So, you know, stay tuned for that. I'll be sharing them on my social media platforms. So that way, if anyone wants to attend those client events, um, you can do so. Uh, and two top of mind uh, events that we're supporting that I can think of right now um, is the New York Tech Meetup happening on November 10th. Go to nytm.org to learn more about that. And then the Black Women Talk Tech Face of a Founder Summit happening November 17th. Uh, you know, check out blackwomentalktech.com for more information about that. And uh, I'll leave some in the comment section as well as the description of this video, but there's a lot of amazing events coming up in November and December. And last but definitely not least is the Beyond a Webinar ebook. So if you haven't gotten your copy of the Beyond a Webinar ebook, you need to get it right now because this 20 plus page uh, guide that specializes in teaching you all about the foundations and simplified formulas for planning, producing, and profiting with virtual events. Uh, again, we have years of experience from not only me, but a variety of my team members um, and folks that I work with. And we wanted to create this ebook that shows you how to build the foundation of your virtual event. You know, how to pick your audience, how to think of, you know, should I be live streaming? Should I be uh, doing a course? Should I be having a virtual event? And then what type of virtual event? Is this a lecture? Is it a meeting? Is it an experience? What the heck counts as a lecture, meeting, or experience? And so we have all these definitions, these terms. We explain everything um, very easy to understand in very easy to understand ways. And by the end of this guide, you will have the blueprint for your virtual event and exactly what you need to do, what platform you need to use. And, um, you know, again, everything is printable uh, so that we have the worksheets for planning or you could, you know, do it online um, and just fill in the blanks. And it is super easy to use. It's only 25 bucks. So head over to beyondawebinar.com to check out the Beyond a Webinar free masterclass that talks a lot about these the things that we talk about in the book as well as the the beyond a webinar ebook for 25 bucks 
So I hope you guys enjoyed this like live series. If you're watching the replay, thank you guys for showing up. Thank you for watching the replay. If you're watching it live, thank you so much. And yeah, check out Beyond the Webinar. You know, we've created these products and these master classes and these live series for folks that want to produce virtual events. Virtual events are not going anywhere. Um, you know, they might slow down once things clear up and, you know, these new normals that will happen post COVID <laughs> um, in these unprecedented times. Let me stop. <laughs> um, but, you know, when things go back to more in person events, beyond, uh, virtual events will still be there. Virtual events were there before um, this pandemic happened, and virtual events will be still there after this pandemic. So, how can you amplify your virtual events? Make sure that your audience is connected. Make sure that your um, customers, your employees, you're, you're getting leads, you're consistently generating revenue, engaging, and growing while we are experiencing. Um, a fully remote, fully virtual world. So check out Beyond the Webinar, check out GSC Solutions, um, share, share, share this presentation if you found any value in it and then folks on your network can find value in it as well. Um, and follow me on social, GSC with Georgie on everything. <laughs> and uh, yeah, thank you guys so, so much for being a part of this Beyond the Webinar live series. And if you have any questions, again, we are available to help, GSC Solutions.xyz. Thanks you guys. Bye.